G'day and welcome back to Stitch Up and a brand new series in Planet Coaster. That's right, uh, we're going to be doing a Christmas series. So we have all of November and all of December to get together a, uh, a really cool sort of Christmas park. We're going to be heading to this snow biome and it's going to be absolutely spectacular. So why don't you enjoy this Stitch Up intro and I'll see you in just a sec. Wonder around with you you and me in the cold thought it never be true wherever i go i got you hey guys well we are off and running it is going to be a merry christmas here uh, in london um it's been a bit of a strange year so i thought we put together a christmas special don't forget to subscribe by the way we'll talk more about subscriptions and why you should subscribe to stitch up and what else we are playing um in on stitch up but right to what's happening on screen we are going to be doing a lovely uh christmas park so I imagine just for the next couple of months we'll put together a few episodes. I do see that um, these time lapses are very popular for um, Planet Coaster, so we'll be doing some time lapses and we'll be doing some live plays as well. But what I wanted to do is uh, I just want to basically get a lovely big splash of Christmas as you walk into the park here. And of course I've got this different sort of terrain happening here. So. We've actually got sort of the upper level where you walk in. You can see the path just here. By the way, the paths, I'm using lots of different paths in this first ep episode, and I haven't decided which paths I'm going to be um, sticking with. But yes, you're up on this nice plateau, and you walk across, and there's going to be lots of trees and snow, and you get glimpses of the park. And I guess the idea is the park is down. And maybe one idea was that the park was built in, in a quarry. Um, in a in a um, you know a very northern landscape uh, that maybe is quite isn't snowing for all of the year, but in the at Christmas time for the last couple of months of the year, it's absolutely bucketing down the snow. So of course we do um, basically get down to grade, down to this this level where we're going to have most of the uh, action. And what we've done here is we've just got ourselves a little plaza. And I want a focal point where you can kind of walk in. And you'll see this from above, but you get to actually walk walk in. We're going to do like a, a bit, a sort of a bit of a reveal, I guess. And you, you come around here and uh, you'll see this kind of Christmas display. Um, so we've got um, a Christmas tree here and we're using just basically the, the uh, box there the Christmas trees uh, with I'm going to keep the color scheme as is for the moment um, I may change it and just adjust the colors on these lights so that they are thin for certain areas but yeah what we've got here is I wanted the Christmas tree sitting up on a bit of a hill and there's gonna be awesome presents around this um, and I guess the idea is we walk in and this is the central point where you will dart off to different um, different uh, well, different parts of the park uh, there'll be some food and beverage available here, um, lots of flat rides, this is going to be a real carnival type atmosphere. But the other thing I really want to do is add in some coasters, I don't want this to be a temporary park. When we talk of temporary Christmas parks, of course Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park in London, it comes to mind. Um, it's just an amazing, <laughs> an amazing uh, day out, it's just it's spectacular, it runs you know, halfway through December to halfway through January or whatever and it's just spectac. And it's got some really really cool uh, rides that uh, travel with it and it usually has these massive big sort of uh, figurine people and there's a big German beer hall and you just it's just a really lovely atmosphere completely free as well to enter and you just pay for each of the rides or you pay for your food and beverage um, and you go in the beer hall that's all free and there's like a German kind of Oktoberfest thing but it's all very Christmas and it's just amazing um, and of course it works in London too because it's nice and cold and it, and the best thing about it is I guess because it gets dark in London uh, over Christmas it gets dark at sort of 3 34 o'clock so it starts to get dark and you get this kind of two hours of hazy uh, sunset and and that's what's brilliant by the way these these presents are just being placed down for um, architectural purpose we'll change the colors in just a sec because we want a nice splash of color here um, yeah so Hyde Park is Hyde Park's quite uh, Hyde Park Winter Wonderland um, is quite a spectacular uh, thing it's not on this year and I guess as a little tribute to it we're going to be doing this park but this is not not a temporary park this is going to be much more of a permanent uh, Christmas park it's possibly expanded and just opened over 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 the Christmas months um, I guess is part of the the story of this putting a little picket fence in here I believe this is from the spooky uh, pack uh, nice little picket fence in there will um, yeah we'll 
but we'll come back I'll come back in between episodes and put some polish on these areas um, I think I'll, I'd like to put some decorations on that uh, fence maybe some of those kind of holly uh, kind of with, with all the little baubles on them um, yeah just lots of Christmas decorations but I don't want it to be like a vomiting of Christmas I don't want it to just be decorations everywhere I do want it to be kind of a little bit like uh, immersive for the guests so I get I want the guests to walk through and really be transported and I want to think about some different types of rides um, I definitely want to have some really cool ride, uh, roller coasters here um, I had an idea for a roller coaster that's based on uh, Rudolph um, and of course by the way do we just let's just talk about this you can see here I'm starting to put in uh, one of the three Ferris wheels available and I've put this one in here I've actually tried to turn scenery collision off I don't know if it's worked correctly yet because it, it does dick me around a little bit but uh, yeah we've got a scenery collision and we can um, uh, once we put in the Ferris wheels we'll actually um, build I actually end up raising it off the ground but the focal point is when you when you look straight down as you walk in you can see me trying to line it up here as you look straight down you can see that um, I guess that you see you know a good amount of rides um, but yeah I wanted this I wanted this to be a real focal point when you walk in you see this and maybe a maybe a roller coaster um, and uh, you know and a couple of flat rides and just lots and lots of Christmas lights I think when we do cinematics we'll make sure it's uh, in the afternoon um, quite dark maybe three or four in the afternoon in that winter biome so it'd be nice and dark um, and I think it is nice to not not at dark but actually just as the sun setting is when these things really do look their best and I can um, what I've decided to do here is put in um, yeah I put in the lovely um, uh, uh, paths I guess the entrance to the ride yeah of course that's what it is the entrance to the ride so I put the entrance to the ride in here and I try and mirror the exit as well so I but I, I don't want to cover up the very front of the ride um, the ride sitting on stilts it is off the ground at the moment um, and I do get the impression even after we'll have a look in a sec but I get the impression by the way I I thought about putting it through underneath it was just didn't happen um, but I do get the impression that uh, 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 what did I get the impression? I was I was saying something there. Um, I don't know why I get the I, I don't know what I meant by I get the impression. Um, if you know what I was saying, please leave it in the comments. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh yes, that was it. I was I was suggesting that perhaps um, this ride. I mean, look at this Christmas music too. <laughs> Uh, this ride is um, uh, probably overshadowing the plaza there. So uh, you've got a very, very big Ferris wheel. I'm wondering if maybe it's going to have to be sunken down uh, in some way, or perhaps um, it could be sunken. Um, it could be swapped out for a slightly smaller Ferris wheel. I wanted a nice big focal point, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, when you, you do go into Winter Wonderland and some of these big theme parks, and you see the Ferris wheel. Big, in fact, you've got a few of them at Winter Wonderland. You've got three or so. Uh, really big, one really, really big one too. Um, by the way, you can see there we lost our little bit of a little mound. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, it's now coming along. We've got definitely got um, definitely got it all happening there. We've got this one. So different rides are going to be in here. So I was talking about a Rudolph. Um, a coaster and I think that's going to be really cool um, I do want a Santa's workshop but I think I want something to be a bit kind of I was thinking of doing a mine train Santa's workshop so it's a bit of a it goes into the ground and a lot of the presents are all made in these machines and they're delivered um, and it kind of goes like that and it's all it's all done inside um, inside inside the ground um, a little bit Lord of the Rings where where the orcs are made um, so that sort of kind of that idea uh, lots of uh, you know seeing how that all you know trying to get this sort of subterranean kind of feel to it for Santa's workshop but well, that was just one idea I had uh, one actual bit of realism I want to put in here is I do want a uh, Schwarzkopf coaster um, 
And again, not to hop back to Winter Wonderland because this is not a Winter Wonderland uh, recreation or even even close to what Winter Wonderland is, as that's a very temporary structure. Um, but Olympia Looping, the uh, German coaster from Munich, comes in every year, um, and that. Um, yeah, oh, you can see here I've made a right roll mess of, of this. I'm putting a chief beef in and a couple of other little food outlets, and I, I, I'm going to build a gingerbread house around them. But geez, getting it getting it centered um, didn't, didn't go so well. Uh, second time round, it did pretty well. Yeah, so I do want to recreate a Schwarzkopf coaster, and I think that could be kind of cool. Um, think about putting one in in green. Um, gingerbread house going in here. Uh, one thing is I haven't played in Planet Coaster for quite a while. I've been doing a couple of side projects in Planet Coaster but I haven't really played a, a made a big park like this or you know made a proper park and stuff and for a while and I guess um, you know trying to start a building off around my food outlets all that stuff is slightly um, it's not foreign to me but it's not coming as second nature so I am building um, my Deep Blue Sea ride, which is uh, coming along, and I'm building Dante's Peak, so these two movie rides, they're specials. And of course, I'm uh, three episodes into Deep Blue Sea, and we had a, a bit of a drama, um, but uh, uh, we we end up fixing it. Um, but yeah, Deep Blue Sea, there is some updates there. There's another episode coming out where I update you with what happened to Deep Blue Sea. Um, hashtag fire at the studios. Um, <laughs> How very jaunty of me to to hashtag squeaky door. Um, <laughs> anyone who's watched Geekism um, and uh, you know uh, would would know about that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm starting to put different parts of the gingerbread house in here, um, and uh, that gives these these in uh, some in some way just detail for the gingerbread walls. But I guess they're kind of chimneys as well. Um, so I might have some smoke coming out of them. Um, again, it's got the whole idea of this workshop happening, um, and I like it. It's, it's in interesting details of the facade, these big oversized chimneys, and of course we go ahead and really uh, recreate them um, out there. Put the pitch roof in for the gingerbread as well, um, and they end up coming up quite nice. So we've got the pitch roof. Um, yeah, we've got it all kind of coming along. Um, got a flat roof uh, we end up putting a flat roof here and this is a little bit sunken somewhat the guests wouldn't see it but I do one thing I need to remember here is that these details may be seen because that ferris wheel is very close um, so the way the guests walk in they have the reveal I guess they they come down the hill and they have the reveal and uh, we'll see the hill a bit later I think I want to put like a, a, a river down there and a waterfall so this kind of ice kind of it's this ice land ice kind of uh, terrain and these lovely uh, river as well in there um, which I think goes quite nice just adding some horizontal detail here on the front sections only it's almost like three separate little houses with a show uh, like a, a supporting building behind it maybe for all the fridges and the stock um, and of course some icing um, and again here it I guess the icing and the snow um, it's kind of all a bit similar isn't it so I will go back and put extra bits of detail on gingerbread house um, and you can see the uh, whole design comes along um, I decided on whether to put the icicles in and uh, I just haven't quite worked out which parts of this um, icing I want to use so I will come back um, uh, and review that in between episodes and just put a little bit of polish there on that one um, I believe we have a milkshake uh, a chief beef and a chow min um, looked at looks using bricks by the way popping in some windows that are icing um, we swap these out for some more solid windows a little bit later because I actually want this to be uh, this one to, to represent an actual real house um, so you can see the new windows that are coming in but yeah a real kind of gingerbread house but possibly there could be some offices in there um, and I, I want them I want it all just to be a little bit more kind of um, you know once we put some trees behind as well um, it'll it'll come up much nicer and you'll see this uh, this whole design kind of come along it's funny when you first build it I was thinking oh this looks rubbish and then by the end of the episode I think it's it's definitely made some uh, some progress um, of course we haven't changed the lights here I don't know what these are called these these bits of they're like wreaths green wreaths or something I'll have to check what the part is called but anyway these these things here um, I haven't changed the lighting I'm using the default lighting so I'll probably come back and adjust that uh, we do add some actual um, uh, sort of 
lighting to the rest of the buildings a little bit later and you'll see those come along as well um yeah so if you haven't subscribed to stitch up then please subscribe we are moving up there on the um we're certainly moving up there on the on the subscriptions and it is it is great to see uh, more people subscribing to stitch up it's been going for a while now and of course we played planet coaster quite a while ago and we, we're back into it um so we've got a few different planet coaster projects going on other games we play on stitch up uh it definitely uh, so what are we playing we're playing factorio at the moment um and uh we're playing shapes io which is another game uh it's a fairly new game probably our favorite game is uh Vox Tycoon uh, is a game that's in development. Um, it's in the uh, in the um, I guess the beta testing at the moment, and it's about to have a Steam release by the end of the year. So two short months, and we'll have a Steam release for that one. That's a spectacular kind of tycoony, uh, low poly tycoony type game. I noticed the ends of these um, gingerbread house have actually got tilted um, on the roof. They tilt in a bit, so a few of these little pieces here have to be adjusted manually. Um, by the way, we're playing four times the speed on the speed on this speed build here, so we, we will go to a live play at the end and have a little bit of a look around. But it is one of those things that the more detail you add, the more the design starts to come along. Um, so yeah, it is it is it does get there. Um, it certainly adds in a bit more detail, and um, I think what I might do is just let you go ahead and uh, enjoy um, uh, a bit more of the building watching the building and I will be back uh, very shortly um, to to talk you through a bit more enjoy Okay, so things that are coming along there, we got the boppy Christmas music, a little bit retro this, isn't it? So you can see there's some wreaths that have gone in there as well. We start to look at it from um, more of an outside perspective um, there. You, you can kind of see that we're getting to see that, um, you know, I want the terrain a little bit undulating. Um, so yeah, I was saying earlier, we have actually turned off scenery collision, we've turned off coaster collision, and we've turned off um, so scenery, coaster um, I can't remember now the funny thing is I thought I turned off terrain um, uh, collision uh, disabled uh, that is disabled um, terrain collision but and we're having a look at the settings just as we as we see there but I, I was hoping that uh, this would this would basically um, you know my that the the terrain would um, completely sort of uh, sit up and into um, the path and I think I've not done something quite correct if you have a look here this is where I want the, the, the river to run so I want it uh, lower there's a lake there and uh, um, 
there's funny, the lakes all look quite dirty and dark in this biome. I don't know if I can change that, but um, yeah, I'm going to jump into the live play and have a look around and uh, let me show you around the park. So welcome back. So here we are. This is after everything that's happened in the very first episode. So you can start to kind of see, uh, firstly, let's look at the size of the park. So there's the, there's the outline there um, and we go up to about here. So this sunken pit's probably done, I guess, in maybe a quarter of it um, but 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 not really because we have if you took if you knocked all this out that'd be about a quarter of it so we do have a lot of room here and I don't know which levels we're going to be playing on but I think that I think everything slowly slopes down which is quite nice it's got kind of a ski resort feel to it because of these sort of slopes this has got a whole kind of ski run feel to it so here's where I plan to do the river um, and right at the end of that sort of uh, of the speed build I was talking about um, maybe having a, a river up top here and I do want some um some sort of uh, river here and I think a nice drop down there look at that I mean this is kind of nice this is all uh, well this is all terrain modification but I, I think what's happened is I've just just kind of fluked those angles and so I'd like to, uh, the idea that the river comes across here and then drops down into a little waterfall along there so um, it'll have to be horizontal and then a nice actual drop it can't be as sloped as it is at the moment because uh, water doesn't do that in Planet Coaster and of course I'm not not overly thrilled with how all this looks but uh, at the moment and definitely this is all temporary but you get the idea there's a lake here which is not too dominating it's a nice kind of if you walk in here's some people here that have just decided they're going to come in for Christmas um, and uh, if you walk in here you'll see so as you walk along here like these people are doing um, you'll be able to see here and of course uh, there's our gingerbread house and of course we'll have some smoke coming off there as well so that's all going to be nice this is basically going to be a nice forest that you'll get some peaks through so there'll be lots of uh, lots of trees with snow on them and things like that and lots of signs saying this way for Christmas and Santa saying this way and all this sort of stuff so lots of little I guess the idea is you take your kids and they really get into it and of course when you when you get to here we might widen the path a bit and have a um, have a lovely uh, section again when again look at that you, you're not right right on the side of the ferris wheel you're going to get a nice perspective when he starts turning so i think that's quite good you can start seeing some of the trees behind so this is this is all going to continue and, and and you will you will get a a look from here you'll get a look straight down to that central plaza and that's quite good as well um don't forget it's never going to be when we do get down there let's have a look here so the great reveal is going to be you get down the stairs and i guess the stairs are the reveal to this kind of this christmas village that's here and uh we'll have some regular sort of um some regular kind of you know uh swiss alps kind of architecture that dominates this whole area um and you've got a stone wall behind uh, not sure what we'll be doing there i don't think we'll have a lot of flat landscape everywhere this is going to be undulating but yeah this thing does dominate um but i like it I'm not ruling out running something through the middle of it. A uh, possibly, uh, if we have a coaster of some sort, running some sort of, imagine some sort of thing just running through the middle of that. That would be really spectacular. So I don't know if we're able to do any of that, but we'll have a, certainly have a look at it. Look at the way that shines there. Do you see how it shines? That looks really cool. Look at that. There's a lovely little bit of, um, bit of planet coaster magic just beautiful uh, yeah this game is just spectacular um, and of course it's Big Brother Planet 2 even more spectacular um, we'll be playing some of that uh, yeah I was saying before that if you're on the Ferris wheel and you're looking down you will see the details at the top of the gingerbread house so we'll definitely need to come in and sort that out these will all be food outlets along here I was thinking about having some tables and chairs in the middle with some umbrellas in a certain theme I've gone with a bit of uh, coloring here it's almost red white and pink for these lights um, and uh, yeah, if we have a look here, these lights are these colours here. So you've got like a pinky, two whites and a red. And uh, what ends up happening is the light swaps. You get one here that goes, this one is, it's almost like this red light moves along. It's quite cool. Um, and I think that ties in nicely with these as well. And even the bench tops, uh, well that bench top there, um, actually all of them kind of got the same sort of feel. So that kind of works. Um, yeah, very happy with how that all looks. Um, and that's kind of cool. One thing I'll just do before we finish this, and I think we'll leave this uh, shortly, not camera effects. Let's go to, uh, <laughs> let's go to camera effects twice in a row. No, let's go to uh, say 4.30, no, 5 p.m. And we'll see about this. So five o'clock is uh, the sunset sort of time.
time and you can see that the sun is setting over here um, but yeah as you can see that when we start to get the lights let's have a look at these Christmas lights what is this litter on the stairs but look at the Christmas lights there they certainly look good and you know this park is going to be all about the lights and stuff um, yeah so that's kind of good I am aware of this overhang not looking amazing um, but uh, just just remember we do as well have um, this sort of exit road there so uh, I don't know um, I'm aware that this thing is uh, dominating it's quite big um, and the scale um, <laughs> at the moment the scale is is just something that I'm not overly sure I've got correct at the moment but this is going to be a nice little work in progress so please leave your comments down below uh, let me know what you would like um, yeah what you would like to see in this we're going to be doing a Schwarzkopf coaster there's even that coaster where you um, jump in as like a toboggan and they move on the track like a toboggan I can see one of those um, uh, doing quite well we've got the mine train as well which is going to be fantastic for with all the presents the Santa's mine train is going to be there and I, I, I like the idea of a transport ride a Polar Express um, some sort of of, uh, steam train and that will be absolutely spectacular I don't know which grade and how it's going to be going uh, between the two I imagine it will be lower and upper um, but yes I do also imagine that you will catch the steam train from here and it will make its way around the park and then make its way back so I'm going to leave the episode here if you uh, want to uh, see more of this then please leave your comments down below um, actually I'm going to do more whether we do that any uh, either way let's just do one thing let's uh, run a test for for this put him in test mode there we go we can start to see him in test mode there and I think some of the lights are sort of here. I'm actually going to decorate, um, decorate all up here and make it all sort of Christmassy as well. So it's going to be quite cool. So we can see some of those lovely lights. Let me leave you with that shot there and we'll leave the episode right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the very next episode of A Stitch Up Christmas. Cheers.